everyone, this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills and I'm about to go through the process of finally bagging up all those beans that I purchased. I do have some of them in jars and I have uh, yet to determine whether I'm going to leave them in jars or whether I'm going to empty those jars out and uh, repurpose them for something else. But for the time being, I'm going to um, bag up the bulk beans that I have in bags and process them into smaller bags. And part of the reason for that is that um, I don't want to open up the one package every time I want a few beans. So this way I can take out the one package that I want and I'm not disturbing the rest of them, that they are all sealed and put away until I'm ready to use them. So. And part of the reason for going through this process as well is to determine what I have in stock, what I need to replenish, what I may have too much of, and uh, where I could make space for everything else that I want to buy and what I'm going to be processing um, this year. Okay, so it's quite a process. <laughs> I need them. And I've decided to use my the smaller bags that come with the uh, package of um, the vacuum sealer bags and what I found okay I did purchase a little scoop at uh, the Costco business center that I went to and this one says it's 12 ounces and it took five of these to get this bag so now I know that I have 60 ounces or 3.75 pounds in this bag I may have to label the outside, or I could just get a pencil and write it on this label. Okay, I think I just prefer to make a, a little note on my little label here, and I'm just going to tuck it in on the side. And do not drop this, Tony. Don't want beans all over the place. Now I'm hoping this isn't too much to put through the vacuum seal. And others suggested that I give it a second yeah. seal. So. There's the second seal. Okay, so I'm going to continue along here. I found that this size bag fits in this jar very nicely. Don't even need my little clamps. And we're going to do five scoops. Five 12 ounce scoops here. And see if I can get this put away fairly quickly. Add a label. And vacuum seal. That's a good size, a good quantity. Okay, and this package is 22 pounds, so we'll see how many of these we get out of here. And let's give it the second seal again. There we go, second seal. Now, down to package number three. Once you get a system that just goes fairly quickly, once you decide what it is you want to do and how you want to do it, it's all pretty easy. It's just getting prepped and determining how much beans you want each package and what packages to use and how you're going to label it. Now these are not exact measurements, but they're close enough.
And I like the idea of doing a smaller package just because that way you're only opening up what you're going to use. You're not opening up each, the one large bag each time that you're wanting something. It gets solid pretty quick. Okay, we'll do a second seal in a minute. using mylar bags and oxygen absorbers and that's fine if they want to use that they can go ahead and do so. I'm actually not preserving for 10 or 15 years. If you want to put things away for that term, yeah there are better ways to do it and certainly not in small packages perhaps. Um, my normal term for preserving food is maximum three years. So. Okay, I have quite a number of other packages to do here, so what I'm going to do is prepare some more labels, and then I'll just try to fast forward through a lot of this. Okay, bag of beans number two. These are the black turtle beans. It's bag of beans number three. If you count the one I did the other day. And I have a whole bunch of beans in jars too, which I may try to reclaim. done. This is my great big bean stash tote against famine and it's uh, just like the other one a great big huge tote and uh, there's no lifting this thing for me. There's got to be 
oh, 20, 40, 60, about 100 pounds in this thing. So, yes, my being towed against famine. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you on the next one.